it's tough when you when you when you when you almost when it's almost over when you see the tunnel i saw the tunnel i didn't see the light in a poignant and emotional moment at the critics choice associations event on monday evening jamie fox the acclaimed actor and entertainer made his first public appearance since a life-altering health scare jamie fox has suffered a medical complication Jamie's 29-year-old daughter, Corinne Fox, took to Instagram on April 12th to announce that her father recently needed medical care. She writes, quote, We wanted to share that my father, Jamie Fox, experienced a medical complication yesterday. Luckily, due to quick action and great care, he is already on his way to recovery. We know how beloved he is and appreciate your prayers. Receiving the Vanguard Award at the Association's Celebration of Cinema and Television in Los Angeles, Fox, 55, opened up about the near-death experience that left him unable to walk just six months prior. Striding across the stage to accept his award, Fox expressed gratitude to everyone who supported him during his challenging journey. I want to thank uh, everybody. Um, I've been through something, I've been through some things. You know, it's crazy, I couldn't do that six months ago. I couldn't actually walk to... And uh, I'm not a clone, I'm not a clone. <laughs> the audience responded with thunderous applause as he shared, I've been through some things. I cherish every single minute now. It's different. I know a lot of people were saying I was cloned out there. <laughs> Boy, y'all ain't shit. <laughs> That's a clone. That ain't no goddamn James. That's a clone. Uh, you know what's interesting? First of all, I want to say to, to my black folks, man, thank you so much for holding me down all the time. It's, it, it means a lot because I always say, like, to black folks, it's, 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 it's harder to impress black folks. It is, because, you know, black people, every time you get an award, it's always somebody out there saying, man, my cousin do the same thing. Man, fuck all that, man, my cousin do the same shit. Ray, man, my cousin did Ray Nard, man. You know. So it feels good to be here. I cherish uh, every single minute now. It's different. Reflecting on the severity of his ordeal, he admitted, I wouldn't wish what I went through on my worst enemy because it's tough when it's almost over. When you see the tunnel. I saw the tunnel. I didn't see the light. I wouldn't wish what I... What I went through on, um, on my worst enemy, because uh, it's tough when you, when you, when you, when you almost, when it's almost over, when you see the tunnel. I saw the tunnel. I didn't see the light. It was hot in that tunnel, too. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> Shit, am I going to the right place? <laughs> I just seen the devil going, come on, nigga. And black people, black people, when we almost die or go through something like that, there's two phrases that, one of two phrases we say. Uh, one is, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. In a heartfelt 12-minute speech, Fox touched on the baseless conspiracy theories that circulated during his absence from the public eye. With a touch of humor, he dispelled notions of being a clone, emphasizing the importance of life and his renewed appreciation for his craft. I have a new respect for life. I have a new respect for my art, he proclaimed, encouraging others not to give up on their artistic pursuits. I want to thank you uh, for all of the prayers because the one thing that I have to get used to now is the Lord have mercy Jesus when I see people out. I'll be driving and somebody will pull up and, and, and hit me with that. Or I was in, a, I was in Chicago where I had to do a little, a little stint for some things to get things right. And my sister and my daughter were so great 
and not letting anybody know anything that happened. And I can only say that you need somebody like that in your corner. Uh, I see you, Lenny. Wow, man. Golly. Wow. I see you. Man, I see you. I love you. I see you, Taraji. I see you, Fantasia. I just, you know, I, I was trying not to make eye contact with people because I'm just going to explode up here. But, but, uh, um, but the Lord have mercy, Jesus of it all was when we were in Chicago and I was trying to get myself together and no one knew where I was. No one knew what was going on. And I had to go to this facility so I could work out a little bit. And uh, the black lady that was checking me in, cause I had my face covered, you know, cause I didn't, you know, I didn't want nobody to know. And uh, at one point she says, well, baby, I'm gonna have to see your face if I'm gonna have to sign you in here. I run a tight ship in here, baby. I'm going to have to see your face. Acknowledging the crucial role of his family in his recovery, Fox expressed gratitude to his sister and daughter for their unwavering support. His return to the spotlight also shed light on the challenges he faced while filming Back in Action, hinting at uncertainties about his participation in additional scenes. And I took the mask down and she saw me. She said, Lord... And I said, wow. And I knew that gave me an indication that once I did get out of all of this, I was gonna be all right, because I was gonna see, I was gonna see that. I was gonna see Taraji, I was gonna see Fantasia, I was gonna see Lenny. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And I see Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. But uh, I, have a new, I have a new respect for life. I have a new respect for my art. Um, I watch so many movies and, and, and listen to so many songs trying to get, have the time go by. Uh, don't give up on your art, man. Don't give up on your art. Don't give up, don't. And I don't want to sound like, oh, this is going to happen to you and shit, be careful. You know, it's not that, it's just, it's just when you when you realize that it could be over like that, it, you, you, I just got to, it, your grandmother used to say, testify. So I, I got to tell you, don't give up on your art and don't let them take the art from you either. Because as I got out from under what I'm going through, you know, you know, the powers that be and, the, you know, your, your grandmother say the devil is busy trying to trying to shape and form my uh, my perception, man. Y'all know me, man. I love y'all and I always give love, but don't give up receiving his award at the event's outset, Fox's honor was unique, as it was not pre-announced like the other recipients. But it's not all good for Jamie Fox. In recent legal proceedings against Jamie Fox, his accuser, described as fearful in court documents obtained by Radar Online, is seeking to protect her identity by remaining anonymous as Jane Doe. Oscar-winning actor Jamie Foxx is being sued for allegedly groping a woman at a Manhattan rooftop bar in 2015. A lawsuit filed in New York on Wednesday identifies the plaintiff only as Jane Doe. It says the sexual assault occurred after she and a friend approached the film star and had their pictures taken with him. The accuser alleges a sexual assault incident in 2015 emphasizing the psychological and emotional injuries she suffered as a result. Fox's representatives did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The complaint says Fox began groping the woman and putting his hands under her clothes against her will, until her friend found the two of them and interrupted the encounter. Jane Doe is seeking unspecified damages. In the documents, she explains, I do not desire to publicly disclose my identity as a victim of sexual assault, because this matter is highly sensitive. Citing shock, shame, and embarrassment due to the prominence of the case, she expresses concerns for her safety given Fox's fame. The accuser highlights the widespread media coverage the case has already received, emphasizing the difficulty of coming forward and discussing the traumatic events. 
Opening up about the impact on her mental well being, she reveals struggles with depression, anxiety, lack of sleep, and overall distress. Fearful of further emotional trauma, she seeks legal protection to maintain her privacy throughout the legal proceedings. Where this case goes is anyone's best guess.